Memorial Day, a story of determination. A Lee Summit veteran uncovers a memory he buried for decades, leading him on a journey to honor a fallen soldier. And that one there. Good, it's coming along great. When we first met Steve Kildee a month ago at John Knox Village in Lee Summit, he had enlisted his friend, Bill Perry, to build a wooden shadow box. We got lots of clamps. The case wasn't for Steve. Come on but for the family of a veteran who died more than 50 years ago. It's been a long road. It's been a chase. May 27th, 1970. Steve was an engineering maintenance sergeant in the U.S. Army serving in the Vietnam War. Frank Mebs, a soldier he met at Fort Leonard Wood in South Central Missouri two years prior, was using a bulldozer to help contain a fire near an ammunition dump when it exploded, killing him. If his dozer hadn't taken the full blunt, the whole, there was enough ammunition in that ammunition dump probably to blow the whole top of the hill off. Steve, who was part of the recovery team, believes Frank's actions saved the lives of many that day, but the 82-year-old had buried the memory for decades. That is until 2014, while being treated for PTSD, a psychiatrist asked him this. Well, the question he asked was if I had seen anybody that was dead, and I don't know what it was, but my mind went to, to Frank. Steve was told simply to do something, so he started researching Frank Mebs. I'd spend 10, 12 hours on a computer looking for things. He found the fallen soldier was deserving of several honors his family never received, including the Army Commendation Medal, which recognizes acts of heroism. I'm that type of guy. I will not give up on something that I know is correct and right. With the blessing of Frank's family, Steve started reaching out to members of Congress, journalists, and veteran groups to try and secure Frank's awards, but he says no one was interested. Frustrating, very frustrating. In 2022, he sent a letter to the White House detailing his years-long work. A year later, he finally got the response he had been looking for. Thank you for contacting the National Records Center. We are pleased to authorize the shipment of the following awards. It means a lot. Megan Frazier is Frank's niece. She praised Steve for his persistence. He never backed down, not for a moment. He did not take no for an answer. He would find a different way and a different route. This morning, 1,100 miles away in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, Steve presented Frank's awards inside that wooden shadow box to his family. This isn't something that we were fighting for. This has been his fight that we have joined in on. Um, and we just have so much respect for him. Respect for a veteran who was told to do something, and that he did. I figured it out, and I think I could, I could close it out. Now, because of Steve's dedication, the Pennsylvania Vietnam Veterans Fund and Bucks County, Pennsylvania, will name a bridge there in Frank Meb's honor. That ceremony will happen Wednesday morning.